Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you some amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of erased the history to fit their narrative. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. This is Nikola Tesla's magnetic motor, patented in 1888. For the 400th anniversary of the discovery of America, Nikola Tesla's magnetic motor was used to light the entire world's Columbian Exposition, held in Chicago in 1893. By the way, please take a look, these are the very beautiful Tartarian lamps. This is world's largest log cabin. This photo was taken in Portland, Oregon, USA, 1938. Built in 1905, and of course it burned down. This is Nelson Kami Mandela and the Masonic symbolism in plain sight. An international team of archaeologists have unearthed a stunning 2,200 years old glass mosaic, depicting white people with Vedic symbolism, at the site of the ancient city of Zugma in Turkey. This is an ancient painting, portraying the old world of giants. This talented artist clearly got the proportions of the buildings and miniature details near perfect, so why would he paint giant people, unless they were really giants? By the way, our DNA holds so much information from our past lives and our ancestors, that if you were to write it all up on the paper, you would be able to fill 10 football stadiums all the way to the top. Healing isn't bound by time and space. When we heal ourselves, we break the cycle, and heal our children. When we heal ourselves, we also heal our ancestors and help lift them up into the hands of God. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This is a very rare gold Celtic Phalera, presumably 2000 years old or more, with an image of Cernunnos, a god of wildlife, holding swastika. In architectural jargon, the top of arch doors are called archivolts, in reality, they emanate toroidal vortices with mighty currents of electricity. Many of our arches, cathedrals, star forts, were sophisticated machines working together worldwide on an interconnected circuit. The Walters Art Museum, USA, has a painting of a woman with a giant flashlight which mesmerizes a deer. This painting originates back from Dravidia, ancient India. I wonder how the flashlight is working. This is interior of the old Penn Station 1922. Tartarian buildings were made to suit both people and giants at that time. The people look like ants in the picture. On April 21, 1787, the Continental Congress of the United States authorized a design for the nation's first coin. The first official coin of the United States did not say, in God we trust. It said, we are one. This is a blueprint for how to be self-sufficient in a one-fourth acre backyard. Make sure to share this post. The creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, just another fictional character of Deep State, in order to transition you into their virtual currency. Do not fall for decentralized currency schemes, the only thing that you should consider to invest in, and that shall always hold a true value, is gold and silver. How is it possible that the ancient Olmec, Aztecs, Egyptians, ancient China and cultures as those in New Zealand, shared depictions of their gods who came down from heaven? According to Chinese legend, Chinese civilization began with a white god named Huan Dai, arriving from the north in a celestial chariot called Vimana, which on Indian means white man. They taught them everything. 
from growing rice fields and building dams on rivers, to hieroglyphic writing. It turns out that the technology did not come with these cultures originating on Earth, but they were handed over to them by God. Installed in the year 1410, this is a giant outdoor clock in downtown Prague. It has been ticking for over six centuries, and it's one of the world's largest astronomical clocks still in operation. Anyway, Anne Hathaway's husband looks very similar to William Shakespeare, and Shakespeare's wife's name was Anne Hathaway. Hmm, they look oddly similar. What kind of glitch in the matrix is this? When people see these old buildings, how many of them actually make this connection in their heads? If you are aware of Earth's magnetic field, as it is impossible to see or feel without the right tools, however it's everywhere around us and can be harnessed for energy. We need to go back to the magnetic motors and anti-gravity vehicles, everything which nature has provided in unlimited quantities. This is ancient Rameshwaram Temple, India, which was presumably built 1750 years ago or more. This engineering masterpiece has 12 12 pillars which incredibly all meet at one dot. Zwinger, Dresden, Germany. Artarian architecture, however it was heavily bombarded by the Allies, luckily it's still standing. Dental work found on a presumably at least 4,000 year old skeleton, there appears to be a thin copper wire drilled through the teeth, making some sort of ancient braces. It seems a bit advanced for a civilization that came out of Stone Age. Many places had electric transports 100 years ago. It's obvious someone is holding us back in development. Pyramid of the Sun Bosnia, Bizoko. One of the tallest known pre-biblical flood pyramids, as you can see, it is totally overgrown with vegetation. It's estimated 220 meters high, which would make it a lot taller than the Cheops Pyramid in Egypt, 147 meters. Here we have a really big pyramid from the Atlantic period in plain sight. It shows that once there was a very well-developed society on Earth that was able to construct building as we can't even make today. These ancient civilizations were far more advanced than we will ever be, everything that exists now, already existed in the past, and was only reverse engineered. Anyway, there are many buildings which are older than we are led to believe and go back to pre-Roman times. Presumably 10,000 years old temple, carved out of a single rock, Elora Caves, India. You don't suppose they carved granite rocks using the forks and knives. The mainstream history is complete lie and fabrication. These ancient temples are way ahead of our time and are unreplicable even by today's standards. It is quite obvious that advanced machinery and electrical power was used throughout the history and that they are lying about this fact so that they can keep us slaves and paying for electricity. Free energy equals freedom from the matrix, freedom to go wherever you want, live off-grid, have heat and electricity, and live your life happily without government interferences. There is a necessity in destroying false and diseased ways of thinking. Simply allowing others to believe what they want to believe is not only dangerous, but also not in their best interest, if you care about them at all. One purpose of making video for me has been the planting of seeds. Seeds that attack falsehood and the virus-like thoughts that inhabit the minds of many. Thoughts that leave them weak, incapable, and as slaves. Thoughts that rot their souls and rob from them all that has true value. Beyond that, the war that we face is not a choice that we have. War is forced upon us whether we actively participate in it or not. Fighting back requires several strategies. Freedom of the mind from falsehood. Determination of the will, standing for the truth, our health, and our greater good. At all costs. The education of the young. Saving them from dependence, weakness, and indoctrination. Survivalism independent of the system, defensive and offensive methods of legitimate warfare. Our enemies should not be allowed to sleep soundly at night as the dawn is upon us. 
thank you from bottom of my heart for all the support. From dark to light my fellow light beings. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.